In this screen recording I'm going to explain part of 11.3.1 and this is how to work out the area and perimeter of a rectangle. So the first thing you should do, uh, like last time, is get a green flag. Then you want to choose looks and you want to set the size to 10% like last time again. Then you want to choose clear on the pen, choose forever and ask and you're going to duplicate this what length side one and you're going to also ask what length side two okay and then we need to create our variables this time they will be side one and side two and then we're going to set twice so we're going to set side 1 to answer and set side 2 to answer to our two questions and we're almost done once again we're going to create a block or a procedure we'll call this rectangle and then we will right click it and go edit and we'll go to options and we'll add a string input and that string input will be called well we're not going to enter anything just now we'll just like last time we'll click OK but we can bring it over here and actually we'll edit it because we want to this time so we'll get rid of this one and we want two strings like so click OK and one for each of our variables so one for side one and one for side two bring that up and nest it in here and that's the first part of our program done then we are going to go back to our define and we want to edit this or we'll go to blocks and then we'll go edit and we want to do here both side one and side two and then also side two okay and then that's the tricky part done with the uh, defining and then we'll once again go to our pen we'll put our pen down we will use our repeat and we will repeat twice and we're going to move side one steps we will wait one second then we will turn 90 degrees then we'll wait one second then we'll move side two steps wait one second then we'll turn right 90 degrees or uh, yeah turn right again yep and we'll wait one second and then we're going to put our pen up almost done we're going to set our area and that of course needs to be a new variable set and we'll choose it on the menu set area and like before multiplication for area data side 1 times side 2 and then we're going to use say for two seconds if 
the area of the rectangle is then we are going to set and we are going to set perimeter and that's going to be our new variable and we are going to s set perimeter to side 1 plus side 2 so we'll use plus but we're also going to nest this again inside a multiplication and then we're going to put that up here so side 1 plus side 2 times 2 almost done and the very last block will be say for 2 seconds join so here is join the perimeter of the rectangle is and then perimeter for two seconds okay so we are ready to go and let's run our program what length side one let's say 20 what length side two 30 and you can see it's being drawn and our program is working exactly as it should do but we should also just put a little space here so that that text box looks a bit neater and then we're finished <laughs>